In Isaiah 58, we read about the broken walls of Jerusalem, the people of Jerusalem, the walls of Jerusalem, the building, the spirit, the souls, broken down after exile, after disobedience. The country, the people of God were adrift in despair. Isaiah the prophet was asked by God to be a God speaker to tell them to become repairers of the breach, repairers of the wall, rebuilders of the wall. My essay this week reminds me of the fact that our country is in need of repair. It seems that people are broken. People have lost their compass. People have lost their way. People do not know how to respond to changes in the country in ways that are civil, in ways that are building up and encouraging, comforting, but only ways that are, seem to be destructive. Now, God has ways that are full of life and health and give strength, give strength and healing to the body, soul, and spirit. That's what he wants of us today. That's what he wants for our country. He wants us to return to the Judeo-Christian ideas and principles upon which we were founded upon which the Constitution and the Bill of Rights were written. That's where we come from. We must not lose sight of that. Even if those who scream loudly and pay a lot and run the media would believe differently. They are not the ones who are our country. The millions and millions of people in rural communities, those that are not in the urban major areas, are the ones that elected our current president. There are more people in the cities, but only 17 counties they represent. Over 3,700 counties, 3,700 counties are represented by the small people, the unimportant, some would say. No, they are the important. They are the basis of our country. They are those who elected, those who would find, re restore the joy of our beginnings. Yes, that's where we need to return to. So look into your hearts, find silence, solitude. Read if you need to about the Founding Fathers and the documents they made. It was a different time and a different culture. We were coming out of a culture of slavery. Now that's been denounced. That's long gone. So don't count that upon the founding members of Congress in the beginning as ones who were heathen and terrible. No, they were visionary and looking for the way to develop a country that would be unique. They left Europe, all of them, for religious freedom. That's where we need to return to. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Amen.